Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to the Ceramic Repair Studio. So today I thought I would actually glue back on the missing pieces of this beautiful Chinese, I believe it's 18th century vase. In the previous video I did actually clean and take off the glue, so if you have missed that I would recommend you watching that first. So we're going to fix this with some glue. Now what I've got here is a bowl of fruit which to be honest I find really useful because if you get the fruit and place some kitchen roll just there underneath we can then just try to place our item because of the way it is we don't want to be working against gravity otherwise whatever we when we apply the glue and the tape it's going to want to pull away so you want it really so it's actually holding in place almost by itself naturally and I do find if you have some kitchen roll if you do if a piece does drop it's very easy to pick up and find and put back on whereas if you used something such as sand or rice you know you'd be scratching around trying to find your piece covered in glue then you know in amongst it all so I think this is quite a good I think this is quite yeah that's going to hold in place quite well without me actually even doing anything so it's quite it's pretty good but obviously it's quite far down so we've got lots of different angles now the glue I'm going to use today is my usual Araldite and I'm using a slow release glue because we can keep adjusting and it gives us some wiggle time now I do collect these bottle tops, so when I'm doing any ceramic restoration um, and porcelain restoration and repair, so I've got my bottle top and I'm going to take just one half, one of the tubes of the Araldite and we just need a tiny bit just in there and you want to put the lid back on straight away and then we're going to take the other one and again oops, we just need the same amount in there as well now I also have plenty of cocktail sticks because we want to actually mix it so here I have my cocktail stick and I'm just going to mix it together until it's almost you can see it starts to change to a cloudy colour Now because I'm working with this porcelain I'm actually going to add a tiny bit of titanium powder which you know is not essential um, but I'm just going to add a little bit and I've had this for years and a small amount goes a long way. If you add too much in it does actually weaken the glue so just, just a little bit and what this does it just stops the, um, the glue from going yellow. So just add a, just a tiny bit to it, so like that. Now, I, I do have some scotch tape here, which we are going to fix on. Now, I do prefer scotch tape to, say, sellotape, because it doesn't leave such a gluey, kind of sticky residue at the end. So I tend to use scotch tape. So once we've got our glue, we're going to then apply. Now... I'll take my first piece and I'm going to do this first, this larger piece, so I'm not sure it goes on there. When you glue, you only want to glue one side. If you glue two sides together, for instance this part and this part, if you put the glue together it will want to pull apart. So we're only going to glue this side. So we're just to take our glue here, prop it up on there, and you don't want to make it too thick you want a tight fit so I'll try to do fairly light if you can hear any noises in the background we're in I'm actually in the middle of a storm today so um, it's very windy um, and quite noisy outside so I thought I'd take this opportunity to do some gluing and we want to make sure every single bit is covered. And then just on 
parts here. Also, make sure that you've got really clean hands because you don't want to, um, you know, have any dirt, particles or anything like that going in. I also find when gluing, it sounds really silly, but to wear items of clothing which aren't too furry, such as wool or too fibrous, because sometimes you can get bits of fibres in there as well. So once I've actually put the glue on, I like to go over again just to make sure, one, that every piece bit has been covered, but also to make the glue slightly finer. So if there's any bits and pieces which are a bit too thick, it will actually, sorry, just a tiny bit of, what's that what I mean, fibre. Um, yeah, just so it's not too thick. So then we get a tighter fit. Right, so once we've done that, I'm going to take the, our piece and we're going to just gently place it. And then just give it a slight squeeze. You may see some surplus glue come out, that's fine. And we can actually even take a piece of some of our kitchen roll here as well and if you've got some water you just dip it into the water and then we can just wipe that wipe it either side as well just very carefully and I'll wipe underneath this side so I'm just going to take a piece of our scotch tape here and I'm just going to just turn it on one of the corners so when it comes to taking it off it's easy you're not scratching around trying to find it and I'm just going to very gently apply it to one side to one part and then you're going to hold it down and pull so it's really nice and tight and I'll do it again a little bit more here so again take one side just give it a little bit there, hold it down, pull it to, right so now we're going to take the next part and I think I will probably start on this side so I can see there, so again we do the same thing, apply the glue I love working with porcelain. You tend to find the glue slides on so much easier than, say, um, pottery because it's less, you know, pottery is very porous and dry. Um, but it's, it's a pleasure working with porcelain pieces. So, again, take our piece there, and just work our way way along. And then find where we are. Just look along, gently apply. And then take a piece of our tape again. Hold and pull to. And then again. Let's start first of all by gluing all the way along. And just make sure that's all there. Now, Aerodite takes around 24 hours to dry, but I do like to leave it longer than that, a good 48 hours. Obviously, the longer you leave it, um, you know, the stronger it becomes. And I really would recommend using a slow release so you can keep going back and just making sure that it's nice and tight. If you use a very fast drying glue, there's no wiggle time. And if you've made a mistake or it's not tight enough or you've haven't fixed it properly you know it's too late 
so this is why I, I tend to use slow dry so we, I've applied it onto here so I'm now just using tiny amounts here and once we've done that just make sure that there's no surplus glue anywhere right so just gently apply them there So just take a piece of our tape, hold down, and you can keep checking from both sides to see how it actually is. And another piece of tape, and just slot into place. Again, you'll see this is actually missing a couple of pieces as well. It's got a few shards. Hold that into place there. So I always find it tricky with multiple breaks. And then a piece here, just to sort of blend these two, whoops, two pieces in. <laughs> So I'll probably keep coming back to this and I'll keep coming back and I'll keep pushing and making sure it's tight just as it's drying. So there we are, all in place. I'm going to wait now for 24 hours before I take the unveil, I'm ready for then taking the, putting some really puts and just filling it all the cracks and bits and pieces. So if you haven't subscribed before and you like this kind of content, uh, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and share. And I really look forward to seeing you in the next one. Okay, bye.